Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Lydia. If you're new around here, hey, what's up? Welcome, it's Lydia. If not, get in the back. You already know what time it is. And before we even move forward, guys, I'm gonna have to ask you, please be sure to click that thumbs up button because it really does help this video reach a much wider audience so that we can all help me reach my goal of 300,000 subscribers. That's the goal, that's the aim. If you're not new around here, I'm, uh, I hope you've noticed. What's, what's new about me? Let me just give you a second. Let me smile. <laughs> if you're an OG, I'm gonna expect you to know there's something different about me. Do I sound different? Because I do, guys. I am finally on my journey to improve my teeth, to improve my smile. If you've been watching this channel, you know that this is something that I've been working on literally for the last year. And finally, we're there. We're finally on our way and we've started with straightening my teeth. So I had an appointment last week and I've got my first set of trays in to help straighten my teeth. And I'm just so excited. Like this period right here is Lydia's self-improvement, like part two. So what I'm doing right now is teeth, number one. And then in June, if you don't know, if you're not following me on Instagram, this is your chance, this is your warning. In June, we are stepping. The Dingo Step Challenge is back and it's better, okay? So first of June, we're gonna be stepping, we're gonna get our waist snatched, we're gonna have my teeth ready. <laughs> I mean, you'd almost think that we're getting married. I'm gonna share a few clips from the dentist and um, yeah, how do you guys, do, do I sound the same? Do I look the same? What do you guys think? Because this, it needs some getting used to. I'm just glad that my, my lisp is not as heavy as I thought, but I'm really happy with it so far. So let's just have a quick flick back and I'll show you how my appointment went. <laughs> Ah, you know what guys, getting my teeth straightened, loving my natural hair, Waist gonna be snatched. Like right now, I'm all about feeling good, which is why I wanna give a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, who are April. April is a wellness brand who are reimagining the world of vitamins and supplements. And I've got them right here. Guys, have you ever seen vitamins and supplements that look so cute? I've got a green one, a blue one, and a yellow one, and they all do different things. I've got the multivitamin, I've got the club calm, and I've got the glow service at the top. This one? This is my favorite one. Just in case you didn't know, April is actually the sibling brand to the razor company Estrid. I believe that's how you say it, Estrid? This is their sister. So if you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I recently introduced and shared what April is all about. But just in case you don't follow me, let me tell you all about it. The April offer a range of vitamins and supplements for your body and mind. And I've been trying them for like the last two weeks or so. And I'm here to tell you my thoughts. So, as I said, my fave is this. This is the Glow Service Beauty Booster Capsules. This is a win from me. These are great for helping out with that beauty glow and they also assist in the body's production of collagen. And we all know that collagen helps with skin. These capsules are packed with a punch. Inside of them, they've got biotin, retinol, hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, and coconut water all in one single capsule. So guys, to get your hands on these, you can basically make a one-time purchase or get yourself a subscription, which means that you'll get refills that look kind of like this. You see these? They're just ready for me to finish these capsules and then I can just fill them in accordingly. I've got this one here for my glow service, this as my refill for my Club Calm, and lastly this for my multivitamin refill. Oh, guys, one last thing. April products are 100% vegan, cruelty free and they're also formulated right here in the UK. If you're interested in April, be sure to click the link in the description box to go and find out more and shop products to get yourself glow just like me. So yeah, so I've told you about April. What else do I need to tell you about? Oh, guys, we've been talking for how long? Like four or five minutes now and I still haven't told you that I jumped out of a plane over the weekend? What? <laughs> Friends, let's catch up. Oh. Yes, skydiving, it happened. 
Okay, so if you watch the vlogs, you know that for Dot's birthday, we were meant to go skydiving in January, but obviously we live in the UK and the UK and weather, the two things just don't go very well. You can't trust them. So we weren't able to go. We went first in January, we were turned away. We went in March, we were turned away. We finally went this weekend and we jumped out of the sky. Out of the sky? We jumped out of the plane. <laughs> So I'm gonna set that footage as well so we can catch up. And in the meantime, I think I'm gonna go to the, I need to go to the nail salon to sort these out. I also gotta go see Inga to sort these out, but roll the footage, see me jumping out of the sky. Why do I keep saying out of the sky? See me jumping out of a plane, that's what I did. <laughs> Excited. I can't wait. Is this your first time? It is my first time. Listen, have a good time. I'll be there to happy. capture the moment. And I look forward to that. <laughs> have fun. Thank you. Yes, we're vlogging in the fridge. New angles, okay? I went to the nail shop. First of all, I've just picked up some dinner. But let me, let's put this in, let me put my dinner away and then I'll, I'll, I'll let you know what happened in the nail shop. So, dinner. Guys, I have, not just I, my partner and I have been banging out ZZ's hard. <laughs> I think I've had ZZ's like every single day for the last two weeks. Dead ass. Like, I've lost. Your girl is looking. <laughs> I'm looking great, but um, <laughs> wow, how can I say I'm looking great? No, but really, be your biggest fan. I'm putting in a lot of work. We're walking like 20,000 steps every single day and I'm eating super clean. So yeah, I am looking great because I'm putting in the effort, I'm putting in the time. Be good to yourself, be kind to yourself, speak nicely. Anyway, salad. I have been banging out ZZ salad like they're going out of style. Like, maybe I'll take you guys to ZZ with me so you can see what it is that I'm actually ordering off the menu. They have the salad section and they have like under 600 calories for the salads and then you just kind of mix it up a little bit you add a little bit of this a little bit of that then you add a little bit of a schnitzel this is the bits that I, this is what i add and you can see this is a whole one and the half of the other one that i didn't get to finish but basically you we've been i was just saying the vlog that we've been banging that was easy we've been banging him out <laughs> so this here is a what salad is this is a caesar salad oh look at how buff that looks Caesar salad, but obviously remix to make it just taste so good. But um, yeah, that's what's up. This is for lunch tomorrow. And uh, then I have it with chicken. But maybe I'll take you guys along to ZZ and then we can order and you can see what it is that I order. Guys, look at my nails. So this is this is the original length of them. They were so, so long and I absolutely hated them. Absolutely hated them. So I spent most of the evening 
filing my nails down so they're a little bit shorter i just think they look nicer when they're a bit shorter this these just look like chicken legs like yeah and boo likes them shorter too but it's not about him it's about what i like okay i like them a little bit better like this this one these are too long so i've just been filing them down what do you guys think i think these look a bit nicer um yeah to be honest my nails had to be done because tomorrow we are shooting a campaign i'm gonna take out the fridge now um we are shooting a campaign tomorrow i just thought about the electricity prices so that i thought i'd just close the electric the fridge door my bills you know it tripled by the way my bill used to be like 60 something and it came up to 173 or something ridiculous but yeah tomorrow we are shooting so my nails need to be done which means i'm going to spend the evening filing the rest of them down this is my right hand side which means it's a lot harder for me to file it down and i feel like as a babe am i slurring more or you did you think i still sound the same really i feel like i've been tripping over my words she's slurring her words but only for six weeks bro because she's, freaking... she's gonna get her teeth straightened thanks babe but anyway i'm gonna sit here what we're we gonna do we are about to review the princess vlog which you guys watched last by the time you're watching this vlog it means that the princess vlog went out on sunday so if you haven't watched it click here to go and watch that video we're about to sit down it is 10 49 about to sit down and basically review that vlog for you guys but for now i'm gonna have to love you and leave you and we shall catch up tomorrow um as i'm getting ready to go and shoot bye guys because i have been sun kissed to you in the high heaven guys every time we come to the bar as soon as we get to the bar we look up and be like ah oh, linear yeah. by the way ladies i'm telling you right now Good morning. Working up a little bit later than usual. It is nine minutes past nine, and just getting up, getting ready to go for my walk. I'm just <laughs> now my getting ready routine has involved a whole new process. I wake up, I do my skincare in the morning. I'm yet to show you guys my skincare. It's coming up soon. Um, yeah, I do my skincare in the morning, and then I'm coming here to my bedroom, and I like basically get ready for hay fever. <laughs> because hey people took me out in a wild way i was one of those people who used to laugh like y'all can't even go outside because of grass because a little bit of pollen and then now like literally just in approaching my 30s my body has just developed hay fever like in a wild way like i was literally in bed on what day is it today today's thursday on tuesday i was fully in bed couldn't do anything completely congested like couldn't my nose my ears my throat everything was so itchy it was ridiculous um then i popped antihistamine at like 1am in the morning and everything calmed down a little bit at least the itching in my ears but then i woke up the next morning i was this congested this is why i sound like this so yeah um i've been taking sudafed and i've been taking my antihistamines some more antihistamines and also i have been taking this purity's nasal spray like all of these three things really help me out and i cannot step outside for my morning walk now without this <laughs> life has a funny way of coming at you like life comes at you wild you know be nice yeah because <laughs> you never know what it is that you're joking about that's gonna come around and bite you like me and hay fever oh, oh it got me good it got me real good good man mm. i take my two pseudofed for congestion here and then i'm gonna take one of these which is an antihistamine allergy tablet if you guys have any hacks for hay fever please let us know in the comments because we are suffering we're not even in we're not even in june yet and suffering has commenced crazy like a pill popper in the morning I always keep water beside me by the side of my bed so that I can drink at night and also most importantly I have water to drink first thing in the morning and then I can take this on my walk with me that way I can it's a lot easier for me to track my water intake because I'm trying to drink like four and a half liters which is the equivalent to like my what I'm meant to be taking according to my body weight apparently and this is just like a nasal spray you spray it and it squirts up on your nose this oh, game changer. Okay, 
that's done and then tissues i carry tissues with me of course guys this is serious like don't make fun of people <laughs> don't do it anyway let's go and get our walk in right now i'm on 497 steps from last night having my watch on past midnight my best i'm doing my very best to have this watch on like as close to 24 7 as possible you know i have it on for like 18 hours a day you know when i'm sleeping it's off but these invisaligns these stay on for 22 hours a day so i'm literally capped at every any given point of the day i'm capped but it's fine this is all for better version of me yeah cool speaking of a better version of me let's go and get these steps in because Ooh, at some point i'm going to be hitting the gym so that we can get some tone but i'm loving loving the shape guys like i said june 1st dinga step challenge we resume we go again i'm going to be ready for you by june 1st because by the time it's june 1st i'd have been walking solidly 20k for a month so i know exactly how you'll feel at that point <laughs> not my booty in the mirror <laughs> damn i'm very happy though very very happy about progress also at some point i might bring you guys to zizi's today so you can see what it is that i've been ordering um to be able to eat out literally eat out every single day for the last few weeks but also still maintain a snatch like maintain a complete snatch you know all right let's go for a walk a little bit later actually a lot later it's 2 13 and we are on our way to go and do some work and then later on we have to get back actually back in time to to get to another meeting at four o'clock in the meantime i've got 8600 steps and really it's all about just trying to squeeze in steps now whenever you can because 20k guys getting 20k requires about um three hours of walking all together but if you try and get the most of it in the morning and then you just try and fit it in wherever you can like in the day when you're walking instead of like if you go to the post office like walk to the post office instead of taking your car you know so that's what we're doing i say as we're <laughs> i say as we're sitting in a car but we're gonna walk around when we get to where we're getting to shoot um dot what's 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 the schedule what what are we gonna be shoot do you have the agenda yeah we do so we're gonna be making this room yeah um and i've got the shots ready yeah um packing your laptop bag and then we'll get some shots of you leaving but we can do that when we get back yeah um some driving shots we could we can also do on the way back yeah um entering the cafe and then redeeming the offer and then we can do some close-ups of the barista making the coffee yeah hopefully they'll let us do that um yeah you sitting down sipping the coffee and then just co-working all right yeah cool um Trying, we're trying to go and shoot at, we have a campaign with Compare the Market and Cafe Nero and it's always a little bit tricky trying to shoot in public spaces because obviously we don't have any kind of special rights to shoot there at all but we have work to do. So we're hoping that when we get there they'll be easy and it'll be quick and they won't give us any issues at all because otherwise I'm a bit screwed up. Yeah, I hope that's gonna be a good day. The sun's out so let's hope for the best. So the shoot was very successful. We came across the most helpful Capanero assistants like ever. They literally assisted in being in the shot, helping us shoot, 10 out of 10. So now we're just rushing home for the meeting, which was meant to be at four o'clock, but it's now been postponed to 4.30. And even that, I'm gonna be five minutes late, but great teamwork, all done. These were, these were two houses. No, I saw one that was one. That's, That's nice. huge. We've got two driveways. Dream it and believe it and you can achieve it. That's huge. That's huge. That's huge. That's bloody huge. This is probably the first time that I'm up and early to a meeting. Like ever. ever. Like in real life, and virtual that's life. You're actually running late. <laughs> <laughs> Adjustments. This is literally like ever. Hello everyone. Hello. Hi everyone. How are we? How are we all doing? All good, thank you. Hey guys. How are you, Lydia? I'm great. I'm just taking the call from the car. We're home in the next few minutes, but this is all good. I don't know if someone can hear Lydia, but I can't. Oh. Lydia, we can't hear you. Hmm. Just one second, please. Yes, we can hear you. Oh, great. <laughs> now we just need to see me. Where am I? Okay, even better. Perfect. Guys, my meeting is all done. That is that was great i'm so glad that i was able to take it um on the go that's one thing i really love about my job the fact that i can literally work remotely fully remotely that was in the car um so long as i have my phone and internet the girl is good um 
my lips keep getting dry and keep getting caught up on my Invisalign. Does anyone else, anyone who's had Invisalign, can y'all relate? And in fact, I'm even just thinking back, like when, when we went skydiving, oh, that was so funny. I was smiling so hard the whole time. I was literally like, ah! <laughs> I was smiling so hard but then my lip got caught as I keep saying my lip got caught here and then it was like this it... anyway what I'm saying is that probably next time if I'm ever gonna do skydiving again I will never skydive with Invisalign on because my teeth were dry my mouth was so dry <laughs> but um if I was to review my experience of skydiving it's a yes but I absolutely did not like you know when you first jump out of the plane oh, that feeling it's like the feeling of when you're on a roller coaster and then your heart it's like it's almost like you leave your soul behind like your soul is back in the plane and you're you're you're, you're out of the plane you're gone so i didn't like that first feeling but then after like a few seconds i have to keep telling myself that like, you like this you like this you like this you're not scared of heights you're not scared of heights a bit of self-talk a bit a lot of self-talk you guys know i talk to myself right um so i have to talk to myself and be like you're fine you're enjoying this and then i was smiling like i was just smiling the whole way and screaming to the top of my lungs like poor guy poor instructor but the guy that i had oh he was so good like so 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 good but yeah i need to slow down as well when i'm speaking when i've got invisalign because i feel like the spit <laughs> builds up from my mouth guys <laughs> when i get my teeth done like when it's done when all this is said and done i'll be so happy but they do say that what is it beauty is pain pain is beauty beauty is struggle whichever one it's all long but yeah let's go inside and carry on with the next lot of work you see this cheekbone finger step challenge first of june if you're not ready get ready now first of june we go again so guys i've just come back and i've received three parcels in my absence so i wanted to just unbox them i already started unboxing one and i had to re-show it to you because i've shown you this before but just to remind you how much i love it guys look i bought another one of these temper sleep masks and this is gonna be for my boo this is so good guys it's like 33 pound for a face mask but it blacks out everything like it's too good so good i bought it twice and then i've got some bits here from amazon these are gonna be ah i know what this is this is all for my current invisalign situation so when i went to the dentist she told me about these chewies so these are chewies that i should have in supply when i put my invisalign in i need to bite into it should I, so that the the trays go all the way in i need a few spare ones of these and then in here i also got myself a spare on the go case so that when i'm eating i can just Put them in there because guys i've already nearly thrown them away twice and it's been one week like i've literally put them in a tissue and nearly thrown them away so i got this nice little cute pink one um and then i can just keep them in there alongside my chewies as well and then in here i have a mesh key order guys honestly it's been like a few hours quite a few hours later since i sat down to go and show you my haul my battery died then i went on a walk I'm now on 15,000 steps and I'm about to go head out. So I wanted to show you guys this before I head out for my last bit of a walking and then just call it a night and then we'll catch up maybe like tomorrow or the next day I've got Ify's birthday. I don't know, there's so much going on right now. So we'll figure it out. But I wanted to show you some bits that arrived from Meshki. This was meant to arrive before on my cruise, but um, it's here now. And now I'm thinking about this dress for Ify's birthday. Or oh, maybe not. I didn't realize it was backless. Oh God, this is doing a lot. Brunch with the girls. I'm really looking forward to seeing them. It's gonna be a nice little escape, to be honest, from all of the things that are going on at the moment. So looking forward to that. Very much looking forward to it. Let me try this on. This is very small. What size is this? The size is small. That's probably why it's very small. Well, wish me luck. 